So now that we have our marginal ridge, let's fill in the rest. So I'm going to use this little diagram here. And so this is the facial size of your shoes, and here's the lingual. So now we're looking from like a mesial view, and now we're going to start building each, like, fill this in. So we're going to use the cusp as guidance and fill in this part, cure it, and then do the other side, and then cure it, and then you have your groove. So you don't have, if you, you don't have to do as much work to get that anatomy. So to do it, you grab a little more. So now I'm going to start using the gold instrument, or the plastic instrument, dip it in a little bit of bond, just a little bit, and we're going to take a little bit of composite. Why did you switch instruments? Um, because I want a flat instrument uh. to help me with the cusp. So I usually do one cusp at a time. So I start by putting it in. I think I'm going to need a little more just enough to fill the groove and um, make like the rest of the cusp. So I'm going to use the cusp as guidance and try to shape it to the cusp. cusp. So I'm using it and I'm going to push it against the cusp and try to shape the amalgam. I mean, I'm sorry, composite. So, you know, you can keep on playing with it and it'll... it'll start taking the shape of the cusp. The thing with composite, though, is if you don't touch it for a while, it's kind of fluid, and it uh, it kind of tries to fill the space. So as soon as you get a shape that you like, cure it, and then just lock it in. Okay. So I'm gonna cure this. Cuss. Let's go ahead and do the other lingual cusp. So. Dip your instrument in a little more bond, just a little. Take a little more composite, and we'll fill in the other cusp. If you have too much composite, just get rid of it. And again, using the cusp as guidance, we're going to shape. So keep in mind, if it's a Y shape, premolar, there's a groove here. So when you, you're putting your composite in, you want to keep in mind to try to keep that groove there. So don't try to make it flat. Just kind of work with the cusp and keep that groove there. All of the extra composite that you don't want to cure, make sure you get rid of it because if you don't, then when you do cure it, it could stick to things that you don't want it to stick to and then it'll be harder to clean it up. So we have our cusp, the two cusps form, so let's go ahead and do the one buckle cusp and fill in the rest of here. So remember you don't want to put it flat, you kind of want to angle it with the cusp so that way you're, you get the formation of um, the groove instead of having to go back with a hand piece or something. Okay. So we're going to grab some more composite. <laughs> and fill it in. So I know I'm doing this out of the head and it's a little easier, but in the head, whichever angle you need to be pressing against, 
just flip your instrument and use it that way. So you want to touch the other side that you made and can like make a V right in the middle so that way you get your groove. Always make sure that you don't want you don't want to like underfill because that'll give you problems. Then on the side, if you want, you can go with, in with an explorer. Get a little bond on the tip of it so it doesn't stick and you can push and give it a little more shape there so that way you can get the fossa on both sides. Get rid of all the extra composite that you don't want to cure. So once you have a shape that you like, um, go ahead and cure it. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So now that you have pretty much everything, go back with an explorer and make sure you don't have any underhang. So you go and look to make sure your explorer doesn't catch on anything. And if it does, like I think it's catching a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more composite right there, but right here it's smooth. Okay, so now that we have everything filled and cured, we're going to go ahead and take off the band. It's not as important, well you still have to be gentle, but it's not as uh, sensitive as an amalgam is. So we're going to take off the band, and we're going to check for overhang and everything, except first when you take it off, because you've had a band on this whole time, you want to make sure the interproximal area is cured. So cure once from the lingual and then once from the facial.